welcome back to the Bill of Rights show on NDTV Hindu with me, Kuku Alex. This is where we tell you about your rights as a consumer and as a citizen and how you can exercise them. Assurance from the airline staff at the Kuwait airport that the weather was fine and flights are on time prompted a man, Unni Krishnan, to cancel his visa so that he could get to his home in Chennai soon. But heavy fog disrupted services and the stranded traveller was not compensated with food or accommodation. He later took the matter to the consumer court. Uh, the complaint has, uh, both the parties entered appearance. After perusing the entire records, the uh, firm has uh, awarded a sum of rupees 50,000 as mental agony and 2,000 rupees for compensation. But experts feel both sides should clarify the consequences of the possible change in plans to avoid disruption in their travel. Plan for a travel through airlines or in any other destination, we have to follow the, strictly follow the schedule of travel. When the tickets have been booked through airlines and it has been confirmed, the airline should have a proper care for that. There shouldn't be any delay or any uh, cancellation. If the flight is un unexpectedly cancelled or there's a delay, for those timings, the customer should be provided with food and medicine and accommodation. Insofar as a uh, case of cancellation is concerned, the ticket amount has to be refunded as early as possible. Travellers blaming airlines and the airlines stressing on the terms of service result in disputes. The only way out of this appears to be proper clarification, which could avoid many problems. In Chennai, Bertila, NDTV Hindu. Well, this is what a consumer rights activist who joined us in the studio to discuss this case had to say. Uh, first up, we'd just like to clear, clarify as to um, the onus of responsibility. At what time and when does it really come on to the airline and uh, when, when is the airline actually out of bounds of the responsibility? Uh, the moment your ticket is booked, you're there. it is the responsibility of the travelling ticket agents to ensure that you are uh, given the basic uh, precautions and uh, rescheduling of flights. But once you enter the airport and you become the, uh, the, uh, the air uh, pilot or the captain becomes the custodian of you in, in all aspects, whether it's a rescheduling of flight due to weather or various uh, external uh, reasons, it is the responsibility of the airlines and the ticketing agent to ensure that you are properly guided and put. So in this case, uh, he was left stranded at an airport, at an international airport, a place that he is not familiar with. Don't you think it's the sheer irresponsibility of the airline not to provide basic accommodation as well as food uh, for the at consumer? Least before that is, yeah. yeah, what we have been telling is the minimum uh, basic comforts like uh, the travel accommodation in case he is standard, he need not be uh, uh, sheltered at the airport or airport. Or and secondly, basic food, uh, not a luxury food, at least minimum food and uh, the shelter should be, a room accommodation be provided. Uh, once he enters the uh, air uh, complex, it is the responsibility of the airlines to ensure that the, these things. Mm -hmm. And any scheduling also, they can always use the very, now the systems are so advanced yeah. and uh, everybody has got a cell phone, they can even the rescheduling of any inconvenience, they can always okay. send through the cell message by SMS or through scrolling in TV and FM radio can also be used also so that the passenger can make his mind or plan accordingly in case any uh, changes in the program happens. In the True. But sir, in a, <clears throat> I beg your pardon, in something as complicated as uh, flight travel because there are a lot of documents involved, you know, procedures, especially international flight, uh, you know, visa and immigration and all these things have to be looked into. So what are the uh, formalities and procedures that a passenger has to follow and in case of an emergency, what can he do? Normally, we always tell the people whenever they are going abroad, they have uh, three sets of documents. One in hand baggage, one in uh, your own um, luggage and one the person with whom you are travelling. Okay. So even if the hand baggage is lost, mm -hmm. even the baggage is lost, the, the luggage is lost, your like the hand baggage is always with your custody. Uh, sometimes if anybody changes by mistake, you uh, take the bag and at the airport when you are there, in, in the airline, uh, you can always go for the document available from the suitcase or the briefcase. Even if that is missing, you can always ask for the co-passenger who happens to be a friend or I mean, okay. family people. You can always take the visa, airline ticket. Every every Xerox copy is very, very important. Preferably an attested Xerox copy. Now many people may not uh, accept the Xerox copy. Mm. Some important document like visa, they should always get it attested before they yeah, go take true. off the flight. That's true. But if you see it's winter season and the weather is quite unpredictable. So in such cases, who actually is held responsible? Because the flight, the airline is not quite aware of the fact that they may be having a like a weather forecast for the day but they don't know when things will change so who exactly is responsible because 
in if you see the person who's actually depending on the airline has to depend on him eventually yeah because of these issues only the airlines are now every every once in six months during the summer and winter they are rescheduling the flight time is nothing in coordination with the uh, metro department the airport is also doing a lot of study and uh, forecasting in coordination with the airline I mean, uh, met, I mean uh, the uh, airport authority the airlines concerned airlines should ensure that uh, the right. communication is received and retransmitted to the passenger right we head into a break on bill of rights but on the other side we bring you a shocking but believable story of trampled family planning plans come right back